This morning, a major new report from the World Health Organization says eating processed meat poses the same cancer risk as smoking. The report puts processed meats, such as bacon and hot dogs, at the highest risk rating. That is the same as cigarettes and alcohol. Red meat is called the next highest risk. The North American Meat Institute calls the report, quote, dramatic and alarmist overreach. Dr. David Akers is one of the world's leading cancer specialists and a CBS News medical contributor. He joins us from Los Angeles. Dr. Akers, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. So tell me what you think about this report. Well, the World Health Organization said not that it was the same risk as cigarettes and smoking, et cetera, but that it was definitive that there was an association with cancer. And I think that's real. Processed foods can slightly increase your risk predominantly of colon cancer. Mm -hmm. To put that in perspective, the lifetime risk of colon cancer is 5%. If you have a hot dog every day, your risk goes to 6%, an 18% increase. So it's very, very small. So and should, should we stop eating these processed meats? Well, I think we've always known that processed meats too much is bad. And what the data show is that three and a half servings a week of regular meat has no real health, de health detriment at all. Processed meats aren't good for blood pressure, have a slight increase in colon cancer risk, potentially a slight increase in prostate and pancreatic cancer reach, uh, risk. They're very small, but the key is what grandma used to say, moderation. Okay. Well, <laughs> wait, let's don't go there. <laughs> I say that to Charlie, too. But, he... <laughs> so, but, but just help us, help us understand what red meat is and processed meat, because that's a critical distinction. Right. So red meat is, you know, you put a steak on the grill. Processed meats are where they take meat and they put in, whether it be lots of salt, preservatives, nitrates, and things to make it stay longer or taste differently. So bologna isn't a natural meat. Hot dogs aren't regular red meat. They're processed. And so we need to stay away from the processed. But the key is moderation. You know nobody is going to eat a hot dog every day, which will raise the risk. Once in a while, it's fine. What about the benefits of red meat, though? Because I remember a period where we read studies saying women and, and young teenage girls weren't eating enough red meat. Are there some benefits that we should be aware of? I think that's the key thing, is that, yes, there are benefits to meat. Everything has a risk and a benefit. When I drove to the studio this morning, there was a risk. Something bad could happen. I could get in an accident. But obviously, the benefit was greater. Red meat has significant benefits. It's nutrients for much of the world. Obviously, with the current environmental issues, it's unsustainable, the rate of which we're all eating red meat, but that's a separate issue. But we clearly need to keep doing what we're doing, which is moderation. The Mediterranean diet, by far, is the healthiest diet we all can do. Mm. So it, the good news is we can still have bacon every <laughs> once in a while. Yes, this report is <laughs> a, a yeah. lot of hype, but it's not a major change yeah. in what we're doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nor we can talk about moderation in this break, too. Or, or, or moderation. Or we can, <laughs> or we can what? <laughs> All right, or Dr. Not. Dr. David Agus, thank you so much.